Thank you for dying on the cross for our sins. Please forgive us for all of our sins and make us right with you. We welcome your Holy Spirit presence today. Please be here with us and meet with us. We want to know you more. Please help us to listen to your word, listen to your Holy Spirit's voice and change us from the inside out to be more like your son, Jesus. We also ask that you protect us and care for us as we go about today. We love you, Jesus. We worship you alone. Thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding, but in all your ways acknowledge him. job girls I love that song that's one of my favorite memory verses um, but now it's time for our new memory verse and this is Colossians 1 10 and so we're still working on this but scripture squirrels got it down help us out scripture squirrel okay Colossians 1 10 and we pray this that you may live a life worthy of the Lord and may please him in every good work excuse me and may please him in every way bearing fruit in every good work and growing in the knowledge of God. 
That's right. We remember the four things, right? There's four things this verse is teaching us. That's right. Let's say it again. And we pray this, that you might live a life worthy of the Lord. And may please him in every way, bearing fruit in every good work, and growing in the knowledge of God. All right. Awesome scripture, squirrel. And do you have anything else to say? Yes. I love you. Awesome scripture scroll. Good job. All right, our verse, our passage again is going to narrow on this passage in Colossians 1, verses 9 through 14. It says, For this reason, since the day we heard about you, we have not stopped praying for you. We continually ask God to fill you with the knowledge of his will through all the wisdom and understanding that the scripture gives, so that you may live a life worthy of the Lord, and please him in every way, bearing fruit in every good work and growing in the knowledge of God, being strengthened with all power according to his glorious might, so that you may have great endurance and patience and giving joyful thanks to the Father who has qualified you to share in the inheritance of his holy people in the kingdom of light. For he has rescued us from the dominion of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of the Son He loves, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. This is Paul's word. He's opening the book of Colossians and telling the Colossian people what he wants them to be like and what he wants them to do. He was praying for the church that they'd be filled with the knowledge of God's will so they would have spiritual wisdom and understanding. We need that, don't we? We need spiritual wisdom and understanding. Lord, please give us spiritual wisdom and understanding. By knowing God's will and living a life worthy of the Lord, we may please him in every way, bear fruit in every good work, and grow in the knowledge of God. Those are three parts of our foreign memory verse. Um, that's the answer to that question. What is one way you will obey God today? That's a question for you. And if you type it in the comments, I'd love to see how you would say, what answer you'd say to what is one way that you will obey God today? I'll give you a little hint. Spiritual breakfast is a way to obey God in the sense that we're devoting time to get in his word, to pray, and to worship. That is a step of obedience because you could be watching cartoons, you could be playing with your toys, you could be doing any other kind of things, but you've chosen to spend time with the Lord and he's honored by that. That's one way you can obey him today. And what is an act of obedience? What is an act of obedience? I want you to type that in the comments and tell me what you think. So let's pray. Lord, thank you so much for being a mighty God, an amazing God, who has given us your word so we know how to live our lives. And we know that if we obey your word and follow after you, we will have a life of obedience to you that's abundant, full of blessing, full of good things, full of joy, full of peace and hope in a world that's very broken and very sad so much strife and so much division and we can walk in like a bright light in that place in the in the world around us and bring hope peace joy and love and the love of jesus and the gospel of jesus the good news that anyone can be saved and anyone can have a friendship with god that can make us strong and joyful when everyone else is afraid amen i love you god you're so good in jesus name amen all right let's put on our armor of god today all right, kids, it's now time to pray on our armor of God. Let's pray on each piece, one at a time. Let's pray for our Lord, please help us to put on our helmet of salvation to protect our thoughts and our minds against the enemy's schemes and plans. Let us rest in our salvation to know that we are saved by faith alone in Jesus. Lord, help us to wear our breastplate of righteousness today to guard our hearts from corruption and evil. Let us walk in righteousness and truth, Lord God, and have pure hearts. Lord, I pray that we help us to wear our belt of truth today, Lord God. Help us to, to speak the truth in love and to walk in integrity. Let integrity and a brightness preserve us today, God, in Jesus' name. I pray for the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. Let us fight our battles with the Word today, in Jesus' name, God. We wear our shield of faith, Lord God. We put on our shield and we believe that you are God, that you are King, and that you are moving in the earth today. We trust in you and we block the fiery darts of the enemy. Whatever they may be, doubt, fear, confusion, chaos, strife, we block them all with our shield of faith. And last, we put on our shoes of the gospel of peace. This is where we walk in the gospel and we bring peace everywhere we go. And we tell people about Jesus. Help us to wear our armor today. In Jesus' name, amen.
It's time for our prayer journal for Wednesday, and we're going to pray for some nations that are on our heart. So I know you have countries that you pray for, um, so ask the Holy Spirit for what countries he wants you to, to call out to the Lord for, and I'm going to pray for the countries he's put on my heart. So let's pray. Lord, thank you for the nation of Israel. Thank you for your holy people that you love. Please bless and protect Israel. Bless Jerusalem, your holy city. Bless and keep them, Lord God. Surround them with your angels and keep them safe from their enemies, Lord. I also pray that they would have wisdom uh, to lead their people, and I pray that the Israelites would love the Messiah, they would worship Jesus, and they would believe and trust in Jesus, their Messiah, to be saved, Lord God. I pray for the people of the United Arab Emirates. I pray your blessing and favor would be upon those people and that nation. Protect them and care for them, provide for them, and lead them to know Jesus Christ. Bless the Christians in that country. Help them to share their faith and share the good news so people can be saved. Lord, I pray for Afghanistan, Lord. I pray for the people in that nation to believe in Jesus Christ and be saved. I pray that you'd stop any persecution against Christians in that country and let them uh, be able to share their faith freely. And let people be able to, to convert to Christianity and believe in Jesus there. I pray for the nation of Uzbekistan, Lord. I pray your blessing and favor on that nation, that the church there would grow and that people would believe and trust in you and know you more and be saved, Lord God. Bless Uzbekistan. Bless that nation. Uh, let the missionaries and the pastors in that nation thrive and prosper. In Jesus' name, I pray for the nation of China, Lord God. I pray that for the underground church, that you bless them and multiply them, give them strength and fill them with the power of the Holy Spirit. Help them to reach many people for Jesus Christ and let that nation thrive in, in their faith and their love for you, God. In Jesus' name, I pray for the nation of Oman. I pray blessings and favor on those people. Let many people come to know Jesus Christ in that nation. Help Oman to uh, become a place where believers thrive and prosper and are filled with the Holy Spirit. I also pray for Guatemala, that you protect and bless those people. I come against the COVID virus in all these nations. I pray that you would cause it to diminish and reduce and save and heal the people that have uh, contracted it. Help it not to spread anymore in Jesus' name. Amen. Sometimes when, uh, when I'm praying along with the, the prayer journal, I just like to pray in tongues and the Holy Spirit and my spirit language. Um, sometimes you don't know what to pray about and that are going on in the world and other places and you can just use your prayer language, your gift of tongues uh, that you get from the power of the Holy Spirit moving in you um, and you can agree in prayer without knowing necessarily the specifics of what you're praying for, but God hears our prayers. He understands the gift of tongues and, um, and, it, and it moves things in other parts of the world and in our own life too. So I just encourage you, whenever you don't know what to pray about or don't know how to pray, like you already said the words in English, just continue in tongues, and God is hearing those prayers and moving in power. Um, okay, so announcements for today. Spiritual Breakfast continues, mon continues Monday through Friday at 7.30 a.m. each morning. Make sure you're tuning in, stay focused, and uh, stay on top of your devotion life. Um, build that habit now and use it all, the, all of your life. You will grow you will see yourself as a stronger believer and a stronger person. Um, tonight at 7 o'clock, Pastor Glenn and Pastor Laura are going to make announcements of whatever is going on in the future of Church Alive and where we're meeting and all those kind of things. So make sure you tune in. Moms and dads, make sure you tune in at 7 o'clock tonight to hear the, the announcements and the news from Pastor Glenn. And also um, wanted you to let you know that Special Forces is coming into open enrollment season. We are doing 5th, 6th, and 7th graders, and we'll be meeting on Monday nights from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. at Calvary Assembly of God in Andrew. Um, it is going to be a very powerful year. I'm so excited for Special Forces. Um, we are going to hit the ground running. We're going to plow the ground. We're going to work hard. Um, so we'll be taking applications. There'll be a form online on our, our website to sign up, um, and then there'll be a, an, an onboarding process with a paper application and an interview to see if your child is the right fit to be part of Special Forces and to, to serve on that team. Um, so anyway, I'm excited about Special Forces. August 17th, I think it is, will be the parent meeting the first night when we do an orientation, and August 25th will be the first meeting. Um, I believe those are Monday, so hopefully I got that right. Um, so those are the announcements. Um, also, I wanted to point this out. It was BGMC weekend last weekend. Uh, BGMC is growing still serving all around the world. We did make a change to our projects this year with coronavirus, everything got shifted around. We're gonna support David and Debbie Amsler in Guatemala, our, our missionaries that we go visit every summer when there's no coronavirus. We're gonna support Zach and Amy Holderman 
new missionaries to Mozambique, Africa, and we're going to support Convoy of Hope, Barrels for Hope, which feeds over 300,000 children every single day across the world. Um, as we've been learning about gifts in ministry and learning about compassion, what better way to give to something that's feeding children all over the world? So um, those are our three projects. Please continue to give faithfully to BGMC. You can drop your buddy banks off at the main office if you're not meeting in person or at the main campuses on the fourth Sundays is good. Um, but get that money turned in. And if your kids have a bunch of money, um, you can pay online through the app or through the website <clears throat> and just take their coins and, you know, use them to help the coin shortage or whatever. Um, so BGMC is still alive and well, and we're, we've almost got to $2,000 already this year. So very faithful your children have been in giving to BGMC, and I'm proud of them. Um, and that's all for announcements. Let's do our blessing with Solomon the Wise Owl. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine on you and give you peace. May the Lord lift up the height of his countenance on you. May the Lord protect you and keep you safe from all harm and trouble. In Jesus' name, amen. Oh,